Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel MLD Lectures. In this video, we will look after some of the best and the worst marks available in the market for COVID-19. We all know that COVID-19 disease is transmitted from person to person through respiratory droplets. So, experts suggest wearing a mask for further transmission of this disease. In market, many kind of masks are available, making public confused which is good enough to protect themselves from this virus. So, now let us see some of the best and the worst masks available in the market. We know that by wearing a mask, we can help to reduce the transmission of COVID-19 and we know that not every type of face mask is equally good at blocking viral droplets when we cough, sneeze, talk or even simply breathe. But how can we really be sure? Many questions arise in our mind that how does coronavirus get transmitted, how big is coronavirus or what shape it is. The answer we have is coronavirus particles, that is virions, causing COVID-19 are spherical in shape with diameter varied from 60 to 140 nanometer in size. They have distinct spike about 9 to 12 nanometer. They are slightly larger than the dust particles. Now let us see some of the best marks for COVID-19. In first we have surgical N95 marks without exhalation wall fitted. This mask is manufactured to surgical standard to provide a tight seal around the face. However, because of shortage, most experts ask members of general public to avoid acquiring these masks so they can be reserved for health professionals who are frontliners helping the public to reduce the number of coronavirus. Three layered simple masks, widely available and found to provide the next highest level of protection. There are several different types of cotton masks available, but cotton propylene cotton masks are only fairly effective masks for COVID-19. Now let us look at the worst masks available in the market. First we have fleek. The study has found that this type of face covering is worse than no marks at all because they break up the respiratory droplet into smaller droplet rather than blocking them and releasing large number of individual droplets in the air. Those smaller droplets are lighter in weight and therefore stay airborne for longer period of time. This means when an infected person wears this kind of mask, the respiratory droplets from them tends to break down into smaller droplets and when they sneeze, cough or even speak, their droplets remain airborne for longer period of time causing transmission of disease to more number of individuals. Next we have bandanas. It were also considered ineffective though not quite as bad as no marks at all. Next we have knitted marks. These types of marks were not effective at blocking respiratory droplets. As we can see in the image that there are many small pores which cannot stop the droplets. Here we can see best to worst marks. 
first we have best marks is n95 marks with no exhalation bulb fip dead next surgical marks next cotton propylene cotton marks next three two layer propylene apron then two layer cotton pleated marks then n95 marks with exhalation bulb fitted then two layer cotton marks then one layer maxima 80 marks next one layer cotton pleated marks then knitted marks second last we have bandana and at last or the wash marks is fleet at last don't forget to wear a mask whenever you are out or meeting someone you may know or you may not know. Please be careful. Thank you. Hope you like the content.